This clip is going to demonstrate how to use uh, the advanced filter in Microsoft Excel. In particular, a filtering example where we want to have a scenario where you're searching for something that meets condition one or condition two or condition three. So we have data here about horses and the data has uh, on row one has column headings or field names and then it has 100 rows of data. And over in the second sheet, I have some questions. And the question I'm looking for this time is this one, which says, list those horses that are black in color or have calm temperament or which cost in excess of 25,000 euro. So the previous question just above it has the uh, looking for horses that, that had to meet all three conditions. They were black and they were calm and they cost um, in excess of 25,000. Whereas this case, they're black or they're calm or they cost in excess of 25,000. So we should be able to get more horses. You'd expect in normal circumstances that more horses will meet the criteria for this question because they only have to meet any one of them than they would have for the, for the earlier question where the horses have to be black and calm and cost in excess of 25,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this horse data sheet so we can, for, so we can do question seven. So I'm just going to right click on it, make a copy of it. And when the copy made, I'm just going to rename it as Q7. Slide Q6. And then down towards the bottom, I'm going to uh, I have the question text copied. So I'm just going to draw a text box and I'm going to paste the, the question text in to save me the trouble of moving back and forth between the two sheets to read the question and um, so on. I'm going to insert the text box just down below the data. There, so we're looking for horses that are black in color or calm temperament or costing more than 25,000. So, when I want to do my advanced filter, uh, I need to build some criteria where which I might build, we'll say, in some cells down here below, row 107. And then the criteria I build are going to be combined with the actual block of data, which runs from cell A1 down to cell M101, and that. Then we're going to filter it to, to display whatever rows meet the conditions. So what I'm going to need is I'm going to need uh, some of the columns from up the top here. So the three columns I need are color and temperament and cost. So it's uh, it's wise and it's a good idea rather than typing the column names out, it makes more sense to copy them down. And if you copy them down and paste them into the area just below the data here where we're going to build our criteria, we paste them in here rather than try to type them out it reduces the chance of making spelling mistakes or putting in spaces by mistake etc that would otherwise if, if unless these three column names match exactly what's up on the top then excel won't process the uh, query properly it won't do the filtering properly so those three labels here color temperament and cost must be exactly the same as they are in row one otherwise excel won't um, behave as we'd like it to behave so then this time we're looking for horses that are black in color or calm in temperament or costing 25,000. So again, for spelling reasons, we're just going to go back to the data and copy the various values we're going, they're going to guide us. So we're going to go for black directly under color and then temperament is calm. And on this occasion, if we put calm in directly opposite black, then Excel will say it will think we're looking for horses that are black and are of calm temperament. So we want to deal with the R part of the question. So the, the question here has the word R in it. And that changes the way we tackle it from the point of view of the filtering. So rather than cam being on the same row as the word um, black, we have to move it down one notch. Okay, so the question or the answer now reads, uh, from an Excel point of view, color black or temperament cam. And the third condition relating to the cost is going to follow the same pattern. We're going to put the greater than 25,000 down in the in a third slot away from the other two. So it's like the steps of a stairs. So we have black, color black or temperament cam or cost in excess of 25,000. So this these criteria here, those three criteria cover that zone of cells I've now highlighted are selected from C107 down to E110. Those, that range of cells are going to be the criteria that are going to uh, 
help us filter the data, the 100 rows of data to reduce it to some lower number than 100, hopefully. So what I've got to do next is we've got to go back into the block of data and go up to the data option and choose the, not the simple filter, the simple filter won't do this for us. We choose the advanced filter. And we choose the advanced filter because I clicked somewhere in the block, in the original block of data for the 100 horses, Excel again is intelligent enough to uh, suggest cells A1 to M101 as the list range. So we're happy with that. So now we just need to tell Excel where the criteria range is located. So I've located the criteria range down below the data here and uh, make sure I'm clicked into the criteria range before I select cells C107 down to E110. And Excel then confirms that. It has C107 as far as, uh, it, it's sorry, it has for the criteria, yeah, C107 to E110. So that's my criteria range and my list range I've already mentioned is A1 to M101. So both of those are exactly as I hoped they'd be. So the, the, when I hit the OK button here, Excel will hopefully process my query and give me horses that meet any one of those three conditions. So I'm going to hit the OK button. And because it's an R scenario, Excel is generating more rows than it would have earlier. So there's a lot of rows coming back here. Um, so we're looking for horses that are black or that are calm or are cost more than what I call it than, than 25,000. So, so the first few horses here, they all meet the CAM criteria. So I'm just going to color some of them. I'll shade them in, in um, a green background. Okay, anyone that meets the condition, I'm going to shade in some kind of version of green. So some of these horses are also black, as you can see, but they already qualify because they're CAM. And one or two of them are actually over 25,000 in cost. So then they, this next horse uh, on row 30 is only there because he or she is black. Okay. The next one is meeting the, the cost criteria. This one is black. The next one is meeting the cost again. It's above 25,000 and so on. So every horse that you see here is meeting at least one of the conditions. So there's blacks, there's cams, and there's uh, those that meet some of the conditions. Okay, at least one of the conditions. Some of them meet two conditions, as you can see here, both black and cams. So working all the way down, every horse, as you can see, is fulfilling at least one of those conditions and some of them are meeting more than meeting maybe in some cases all three of them this horse here on row 42 horse number 41 is meeting all three conditions okay that was the horse that actually was in the in the earlier list when we had uh the and criteria so when you do an advanced filter especially one where you're looking at say the more ambitious criteria Always check your answer to see does it, that it matches what you what you were hoping it would do, that it achieves what you were hoping it would do. So here we have horses that are black or which are calm or which cost more than 25,000. So I have a tendency always to check the top few rows to see are they uh, delivering, do they, do they deliver what I hoped would, would happen and maybe one or two down the bottom as well. So here are the last couple of horses. This last one is there because of 29,000. The one above them, two or three above them are all black. Um, and then there's one or two that are meeting maybe one or more than one of those conditions. They're cam, what do you call it? Cam. This one is black. This one is meeting the cost condition. And this one is meeting the color condition. So our horses seem to be meeting the criteria that are laid out in the question. So as I said, for, for an advanced filter to be, uh, to do an advanced filter in Microsoft Excel, what you have to have is a block of data that are in uh, an adjacent, in a, a block of cells that are row by row. They're kind of rectangular block. They, they need to have a column headings to uh, be using the filter. And then you have to build your criteria. So how you build your criteria will depend on the question. If we had horses, if we want horses that were black and cam and greater than 25,000, we'd have all three values on this one row here. But we're looking for horses that are black or cam or, or above 25,000. So therefore we Stagger them over three separate rows. Now, as I said uh, earlier, if we make a mistake in the actual exercise, we can go back. We can un, un we can undo the filtering. We're back to the original data, and we're back to the original data. If we had a mistake, we would just edit the the values here or edit the criteria, and then rerun the filter again. 
So that's how to do an advanced filter that involves our conditions in Microsoft Excel.